It was a shocking event for everyone involved, but for the man who survived being shot outside the Parti Québécois victory rally on election night, the past couple of weeks have been especially difficult. Tonight, we have his first English television interview from the CBC's Joanna Ramiliotis. Joanna. Peter, Dave, Courage's recovery has been a painful and emotional one. I'm terrified of that sound, just the explosion. Itself. Dave Courage spends hour after hour lying in bed, barely able to walk. But he's alive. There were moments he doubted he would be, doubted he would ever see his family again. Am I going to die here? You know, I mean, I honestly thought for a second that I was going to die there. It's surreal. It's a very surreal situation to, for me personally. Is it still surreal now? Like, yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I have to look at the wounds to actually remember it really did happen. Courage was shot and another man killed when a gunman opened fire just outside the Parti Québécois election victory rally earlier this month. Courage built the stage for the event. Just before midnight, he returned to dismantle it when he heard a loud bang. When I fell down, I realized something was wrong because I couldn't feel my, my right leg anymore. My left leg was starting to go numb, so in my mind, I thought I was going paralyzed. I just started thinking we're in a war zone. Courage never saw the gunman. I thought of many things, mainly my kids, my legs, but especially the fact that, is this it? Is it, is it, is it gonna get worse? Moments later, police arrested 62-year-old Richard Henry Bain and seized an assault rifle and a handgun. Police say Bain also set the back door of the venue on fire. Courage had been dragged inside just seconds before. Thank God they closed the door just a split second before the fireball went off. It has been a wild and at times frightening night in Quebec. Courage only realized what happened later when he was in hospital, when he saw images of Quebec's new premier being hustled off the stage, and images of Bain, who yelled out the English are waking up as police took him away. Just yesterday, Bain called in to a local radio station saying Montreal should separate from the province. He's irrational. He's, he's not <laughs> credible, you know. There's nothing he can say to me that'll make good sense. About two inches long. The bullet that hit Courage sliced through his hips, damaging his intestines. The emotional trauma is even worse. The man who died, Denis Blanchette, was a dear friend. It's a grim twist. The bullet that killed Blanchette is the same one that hit Courage. That's the hardest part to deal with in this whole ordeal is just that Denis is not here anymore and he did not deserve to die like that. It's all made for an emotional and painful recovery that sometimes feels unbearable, especially at night. It's a fear that comes from inside of someone's going to shoot me through these windows. Courage has already had surgery and will need more. He and his partner are expecting a baby soon, and he's counting on his growing family to help him get through the nightmare he's still living. Peter? All right, Joanna, thanks very much. Joanna Remiliotis in Montreal tonight.